get it up in the air and it should take pictures. Next. Take off permitted, go. Continue. That's okay. You can watch this happening. That's the that's what the drone's seeing at the moment. Yeah. So it's just over here. And you're sitting over here doing it. I'm I've just pre-programmed it to tell it what to do. So it's straight above here now. And it's just doing a grid pattern with the the camera pointing down. There it is, straight above us. That's the little, that's the track that it's taking, so yeah. you can blow that up and there are all of those little points are where it's taking photos. Good go. That's amazing. Yep. Oh, that's good, there's somebody on the green. There it is. Don, it's a way up there, you're not going to yeah, see it. I can't see it. No. <laughs> uh... It'll come back and land here on its own in a minute. And I'm recording what's going on on the screen and recording my voice as well. So. Oh, yeah. There it goes. That's amazing. What a beautiful day for us. It is. It's terrific. Yep. It be better with the sun out and everything. So you can see where it's going in its flight path there. That little that blue arrow is where the drone is. So it's just going to do the last two spots down at the bottom end there and then come back and land. That's 40 metres Is it? from the ground. It looks alive. So it's finished its flight now and it it's going to come and fly down this little tube here. See the, that green tube? Yes. That's its flight path back to home. Good Which is just there. Knows where its home is. Exactly. Yeah, within 10 centimetres normally. Oh, here it comes. Yep, there it is. Today I created a 3D model of the Brighton Croquet Club uh, courts. So uh, a friend of mine plays there. He asked me down to run the drone and take some pictures. So this is what came out of that. So this is using WebODM, which is a free package. It loads a web server onto your PC, so it all runs locally. Uh, that is a, a mesh image of uh, all of the 33 pictures that I took today. Uh, it's a bit raw, so you can add the texture to that basic image. It takes a few seconds to render, but that's what it comes up with. You can also add, it's called cameras here, but basically it's where the drone was when it took all of the photos to make up this image. So. You can zoom in and zoom out if you want to. Um, you can see the people on the courts there. Uh, zoom back out a bit, spin it if you want to, just by dragging your mouse. Uh, and you can see that all of the uh, positions of the drone, if you take the perspective into account, we're actually inside the, um, the area of the, the uh, club grounds. Nothing was outside over the railway line or anything like that. So this is all totally legal and everybody there knew what was going to happen. So um, if you want to have a look at any of the images that uh, made up this model, you can just click on 
where the drone was at the time, and that will show you the image. So pretty clever. Um, there's another feature which is a 2D model. Uh, just click on the 2D button in the bottom corner, and that will show you a, just a flat version of the, um, the images all um, put together. There's a surface model which shows you the elevation of any of the structures on the image. Um, a plant health uh, model. I can't interpret that, but that's what it is. And back to the ortho photo. So all in all, it's a pretty clever little package. Um, it uh, is good for large projects, small projects. Um, it just takes a bit of um, disk space and computing power. So that's back to the, the basic model with all of the uh, camera positions. So thanks for that. It was good fun.